hammer down screwed. How can we help you, dude? Sure, we got saws, we got band saws, circular saws, miter saws, musical saws, lots of saws. Wait a second. We're short of miter saw. Ah! DC is a city of thieves. Crooks on the hill, crooks in the White House, and crooks in my store. All these out of towners and their new ideas for change, like, like not paying for stuff. <laughs> yeah, those Democrats are not paying for nothing. What do political parties have to do with my mission whacker? The whacker saved is worth the screw in the bush. Miss <laughs> West. <laughs> hey, you know what I just heard? Mrs. Hanworthy down the street, she sold her shop to um, a woman from Illinois, Chicago. She was just in here. She was asking about about customers and and how, and how much business we had, and she even she even asked about how much money we had to register. She did what now? Uh, she is a curious one, isn't she? Always talking on the phone and walking around the store like she owns the place. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Ma, the floor looks awful. You know, she's one of those hard to get, like, city types, you know? Oh, she's got that hard, waxy exterior and that soft, leathery interior. And... I said mop the damn floor. I'm not a trunk stick. Be sure to change the oil every 3,000 miles. <laughs> All right, now, Walter, what you need is a system. Some sort of system to make sure that the tools don't leave without your authorization. Oh, geez, I wonder who should be warning me if the tools leave without my authorization. You know, it's disheartening that people are okay with stealing from their local hardware store. It's like stealing candy from a baby. Or like stealing candy with a baby. Mr. W, <laughs> Grandma could be the person that makes everyone pay before they leave. God damn it. <laughs> Bless your heart, Mother, but you can't see past the knob of your nose. <laughs> Rita, I'm a real estate agent slash developer. Who's that? <laughs> you know that Chicago lady who's going to buy your store and knock it down? <laughs> you mean to say that that new lady who waltz through my washers while acting like she owns the place and poking her nose where I don't belong is a real estate developer from uh, Chicago? Chicago! <laughs> Always look under the hood and kick the tires before you put all your eggs in one basket. Of course, of course. She is making a fool of you, Walt. You know these Chicago types. She's like Oprah or something, and she's expecting <laughs> us to bend down and kiss her media conglomerate ass. No, 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 no dudes. Three words. D-E-A. <laughs> oh, I know who's stealing things from the store. It's children. Bands of small children roaming D.C. It's like Lord of the Flies. Oh, piggy, piggy! Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know what you're talking about. You were probably high out of your mind when you saw her look in the register, dude. You know what you're about. There is something peculiar about her, though. Ah, well, she's taking you for a ride. No, 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 I think you're right. I think I saw her on America's Most Wanted last night. She's the Midnight Smotherer! No, that wasn't yeah. her. You're thinking no, so. No, you guys are crazy! Are you kidding me? 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 Pressure-treated wood has chemicals that are bad for the soul. <laughs> so, can I walk you home? Go away.